Jordan was one match away, and then all of a sudden, he's like, dang it, I got to wrestle another one. And Jordan's like, all right, I get to wrestle another one. Yeah. I don't, I honestly don't think it's going to play much of a role here. We'll see how it plays out. I expect an extremely competitive match. I don't, of course, see either guy running away with it. Oh, hard right club. That's, that stunned Zane. It wouldn't enhance the face. That was a club to the jugular. That was a jugular. club to the neck. And Zane says, let's go. They both kind of hit. You know, there was a couple hard clubs from Zane before that, an even harder club, I think, from J.O. there, but. Level change there from J.O. Keeping Zane from just taking too much ground forward, although Zane, Jordan once again finds himself towards the zone, not in the zone just yet, but near it. Hard right club. Yeah, Jordan's coming with that. A short right, not right hook, but yeah, hard club. And Jordan's gonna get hit for passivity. He's not controlling center, Zane is. So his first warning. Next one, he'll go on the shot clock. And Zane comes back with some clubs of his own. Zane very much the aggressor so far. Now he ends up on the single leg. Clean shot in on the leg. Let's see how he navigates above this finish the up above the knee, trying to shelf it. Two hands, reaches across for the other side, trying with a really shallow wizard is J.O., but he did some trickery in that last match. We'll see if he can defend again. So far, Zane all the way behind him, looking to limp on, trying to catch that far leg. He's gonna, in position to get one. He's gonna try to get two. And he's got the one. Expertly, and, and Zane will let go of the leg. And Oh, they're gonna offer one to Red, but he will let go of the leg, and they're gonna confirm it. Wow. So, interesting here, now Jordan fires off an attack. Zane stops with double unders. And I, I don't know if that's accumulation from the because of the pop earlier that they said, okay, that's too much, but. He was kind of pushing him in the chest. Zane had the leg in the air and he wouldn't let go and Jordan popped him in. So 2-0 lead now for Zane. One off the step out, one off the shove from Jordan. 56 seconds to go. Four now, wrist control and Jordan not been ultra offensive at this point. Yeah, attack rates slow down a little bit or just the, the pace slowing here. The final 30 seconds of this first period. Level change, you see as soon as he level changed, Zane just drops that right leg back. Jail, good level changes, but. I wonder if he's gonna push for a, a point here, just concede this. First period. I don't think we're going to see an attack. As I there say this, sweep to the outside. Now time runs out here in the first two nothing. The Zane train step out and the caution point. Man, you know that first period. I know it's just two zero, but. That, that looked great for Zane. Just the overall, just how that was materializing. Jordan not getting a lot of attacks off. And it, he, as good as Jordan is, and we know he can finish fast on Zane, and he has today. Feels like he's gonna need a, more than just a takedown to get this one as they slap hands. Good, healthy, aggressive slap of the hands. I wonder if he can set him up for a double leg. He seems Zane is very aware of that single. Oh, whoa. Zane really slipped that reach there. Almost found himself in position to score. Zane's going to get hit for passivity. 2 nothing. Zane with the lead early here in the second period. His first warning. And call for time, Jordan.
Back to center we go. 227 left. Good level changes there from Jordan. Oh, and again, Zane to that attack and immediately finishes. Ran around the corner, caught that ankle. And now a 4 nothing lead. That's huge for Zane. Still two yeah. minutes to go. That's a lot to overcome now for Jordan. He timed that reach perfectly. Now Jordan knows. He's got to get, he can't be picking his spots. He needs to create a lot of action. Zane staying at home. Tough guy to open up. They're good. Threats there from Jordan. There he gets in. Jordan got to the ankle, but oh. kicks out. Nice defense. Great counter. No, just... yeah, that's a good counter. Yeah, kicking out. And now back in on that. Two feet on the ankle. And he's going to score a takedown. Jordan Oliver makes things interesting. 90 seconds to go. He trails by a takedown. I don't believe he's going to get a turn on the top position, but. Takedown puts him in the lead. Minute 20 to go. And JL, you know, if you're Jordan Oliver, you got more of that. That was a lot of attacks. That was a lot of offense, a lot of threats. The first period, you didn't see a bunch of that. Minute 14 to go. Criteria situation. If Jordan gets a takedown, he's in the lead. Two ones, I think, would also do it for him. By last score criteria, and he's got him on the edge. Can he get one? Now what's going to be the call that they're saying? Grounded. The fans want one, obviously, the very pro Oliver fan base. No points. Just under a minute now. So grounded prevents the step out point for, for Jordan Oliver. He's going to need a takedown here or two it, quick ones. Yeah, and not only does he need to score, he needs to keep uh, Zane off of him. Yeah. Zane's very capable of continuing to attack. 37 to go. Thirty. Jordan moves. Goes the other way. Same shot, club and sweep left side. Not finding the openings now. Zane can hold here. He's great from this chest wrap. Wrestling out of it expertly is Jordan Oliver. Just 13 seconds. Zane is close. He's on the cusp of making the world team. Level change. They're going to hit a tension there. Seven seconds on the restart. Jordan going to try to get a little run and start here. Really time this whistle. Six seconds. Tries to fire in. And they're going to hit him. Caution him one in three seconds. So if he does it again, that would give uh, Jordan would be leading by criteria if he gets the one shot there. Three seconds to go. Can he get it? And that's going to do it. One point difference. Zane Rutherford on the world team. Zane train. And Jordan goes to the ref, holds up the one, saying that one point's the difference. And it was. And this is Zane's third, is third world team. A second time winning in three matches, though. He beat uh, Frank Molinaro in 2017. That's right. And Zane comes back to get his plaque. And his other world team was against Yanni in 20... Yeah. 18? 19? Zane's out on the mat. Bill Zadek and our team leader here, ready for a picture. So great perseverance from Zane. Of course, a boos from the crowd. I don't think they're booing Zane personally. They just, you know, maybe they are. I, don't know. I think they're, they are. <laughs> I think they're just upset that they're certainly lost. personal. Man. Is this the second time Zane made a team and then got booed? Did the same thing happened at Rutgers? <laughs> yeah. With that crazy. Well, that was. Yeah. That was wild.